I now have uh, After Effects open and I'm using CS4 right now instead of CS6. More on that in 30 seconds. So I'm going to open my file and grab this uh, PSD that I saved out earlier and uh, I'm making sure that I have uh, this live Photoshop 3D selected which is not even allowing me to change any settings here so uh, we're good on that and for CS6 they actually took out this feature so uh, we we no longer have any way of importing uh, Photoshop files uh, with 3D layers intact um, so that's why I'm using CS4 currently okay I just give it a minute or so to load this file and double click on our composition to open it and there we have our horse and uh, took out the background before this trying to figure out just what was going on when I tried to uh, open this in CS6 so uh, layer new solid solid layer new yes solid great make white Drag this down and okay, we now sort of have a white background. Okay, something, anyway. So I can now grab our camera. I want to split this view. So open up a new comp viewer and Now actually what I want to do is make it two views Well, now you can at least see how long this takes. So, can't really see my views.
let's see. Yes, now fortunately in CS6 we're able to work a little more efficiently. In fact, I'm going to see if I can just open a new comp viewer. Make this top. Yeah, so moving the camera a little bit, but not very much. So if I can just go into these transform. Uh, still can't really see it. Okay, so there we can kind of see our camera and yeah. So, now can I zoom back out? Okay, so, this time I'm zoomed out now. Again, better anyway. And when After Effects is going this slow, often it's better just to start manually typing in values. Alright, now if we can move this camera down a bit. Um, no, actually, that's one too many zeros. Alright. Move. Move faster. Okay, that didn't help. There we go, and of course, uh, 
the camera rotates around this point of interest and so like if we wind we could uh, go down here say keyframe Oh, right. I have to uh, correct this, the rotation on this camera, which, if I'm looking at this correctly, would be on the Z axis, 30 degrees. Make it 12. Give it me a negative five hundred X. Okay, hopefully that will straighten out the angle a little too much. And then let's move this camera in. All right, so uh, I finished moving the camera around, and also if we wanted to move the horse, uh, instead of grabbing the horse layer, grab this null, 
and then we can mo just move the null and that moves the 3D object Let's also create a light, make it a parallel light, Alright, so there we've got our light. Maybe if I set this to draft 3D, it'll run a little faster. Then again, perhaps not.